No, no, no. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Okay. So you want to know who's the strongest puppy combo killer, huh? I don't blame you. There has been many antagonists throughout the many puppy combo games, and I thought it was only reasonable that we rank them all from least to most strong. So before I get into the rankings, I will say that this is only going to be the mainline puppy combo killers as well as like some torture star killers or whatever there's a lot of characters throughout the puppy combo torture star whatever multiverse universe i don't know we're going to be ranking the main ones the mo the guy the ones that you know mostly you guys know that i know that most people know like the nun without talking too much bro let's go straight into it all right so first on the list we actually have terrence now this is a game i actually played recently uh, it's called Day 7. It's a it's the puppet combo backrooms game. And, well, he was a protagonist. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. He was a protagonist. And his name was Terrence. And he was a regular guy just like you and me. And he just turned crazy at the end. And he just started killing people because he was trapped in the backrooms. And he needed food. And he turned cannibalistic. And he was just hungry. And I don't know. He was losing his mind. He was like, whatever. The reason why he's actually ranked this low, he's actually at the very bottom. Wait. Well, oh, yeah. And before I say, th these are all the killers. I don't know where I'll put them. Here are all the killers and, and people that I'll be talking about in this video specifically just so you guys know all right so yeah um the reason why terrence is this low is because well he's just a regular ass human being he's not any different from you and i he's literally just a regular human being there's no there's nothing special about him he doesn't have any special abilities he can't teleport he's not that fast he's literally just a regular person just like you and me so i mean the only reason why he's on here is just because towards the end of the game he started killing people but that's just, i mean any human can do that if they had like a knife yeah i mean that's why terrence is down this low is he a killer yeah technically but he almost had to do it to survive down there in the back rooms anyone would really anyone would go insane so that's why he's all the way at the bottom number one well the first people person we're gonna go to terrence okay so the very next killer or whatever that we have on this list the second uh, the second to least strongest or whatever i don't even know what i'm ranking it, is actually gonna be billy so billy is in the game feed me billy and he's also in another game called feed me more billy which i haven't played yet but i'm pretty sure it's the same thing um basically the reason why billy is ranked this low is because not like, he's just like terrence he's a regular person he's pretty small too he's actually really small um but he's just a regular person he just has a gun and a mask like there's nothing that special about him like anyone can do that anyone could rock a mask and just have a gun and kill people now the reason why he's a little bit ranked higher than terrence is because at least billy at least billy like kind of is aware of what he's doing even if he's being controlled or manipulated by the cfv or whatever at least he like he knows he's a killer he knows he's he's insane or something like that you know what i mean terrence initially didn't want to be a killer he was just a regular person that just fell into the back rooms but you know it's different with billy he kind of knows what he's doing kind of even if he's being manipulated he knows that he's sacrificing people and feeding them to the hole so pause on that just a regular person pretty small so yeah just just a, just a, a tad step above terrence just a tad step okay very next on the list we have the mutilator now this is that wolf man hybrid from meat cleaver mutilator this is a game i played quite a while ago i didn't understand what bro was doing what what his goal was who i don't even know if he's like a wolf or a man or if he's just wearing a mask or he's actually just like a wolf and he's just like human size i have no idea either either way he's he's definitely stronger than terrence and billy he's way taller and he's like an actual man you know what i mean like an actual buff man or wolf hybrid i don't i still to this day i have no idea what he is i don't know what puppet combo was thinking they were they were on their weird shit that that game but uh if you watch meat cleaver mutilator you can see him uh he has a butcher knife or like just a, a just a big knife like i don't i don't know what what it is but he chases you and he's pretty fast and he could take a few hits too he can take a few bullets he could take a few hits like he can he can run away and then come back that's why he's ranked number third uh and yeah the mutilator uh yeah he just i don't know his full name i just know he looks like a wolf or like a dog or some shit i don't know he's crazy i don't know what i to this day i don't know what that per the purpose of that game was what the story of that game was but i hey i guess whatever okay so next on the list we actually have santa's helpers and santa himself from planet of the bloodthirsty santa now i haven't uploaded this game on, on my channel but i actually recorded it a long time ago the reason why i didn't put it out because i thought my gameplay personally was mid uh i didn't think that i was i didn't think i talked enough in that video or like i wasn't that energetic in that video so that's that's why i didn't put it out i'm not trying to put out a dog water video for you guys but if you guys want to see that video i have it in my storage somewhere i can definitely just like chop it up and edit it and put it out for you guys i probably will do that 
but yeah i have played this game the reason why they're ranked as slow is because well they're ranked higher than them because at least for santa's helpers which you which you fight against throughout the whole game they're they're sort of like they, they come in groups so like alone if it's just like one little santa's helper with a little cane little tiny ass person like no like that's not all right whatever but 99 percent of the time when you come across santa's helpers they're going to be in groups probably a you know four or five or something like that once once they get into the group of four or five like then it starts getting pretty deadly they can take a few hits if they, the in the game you use a like little blaster little alien blaster i don't even know what it is but and they could take a few hits i think like two or three little bullets and they're tiny as hell little ass little ass santa helpers little elves bro they're tiny as hell and they could tank a few bullets they could tank more bullets than you and i bro like i swear they they can take a few hits they're pretty small they're pretty slow though they're pretty slow i will tell you that they're pretty slow okay very next on the list we got dylan aka that ugly ass creature killer whatever from deadly night now this guy in my eyes was always just like an off-brand bootleg butcher like he kind of very very small you know very barely resembled the butcher but i mean hey whatever um the only thing he got going for him really is that he's pretty big um and he's really fast and he carries like a sickle and he chases you and yeah so yeah i mean i guess he has strong pain receptors i guess in if you if you know anything about deadly knight and the story of it um he was like a kid and he was burned in a fire or something that's why his face is all fucked up or whatever so i guess strong pain receptors i guess but like half these people on, on the puppet combo killer tier list are have a ton of health so yeah dylan or whatever he's called in the game i guess whatever okay so next okay now we're actually starting to get into pretty decently strong puppet combo killers so next we actually have the room ripper from next we have the room ripper from what the fuck is that game called bro blood wash all right blood wash next we have the room ripper from blood wash so the reason why he or a she it's a it's a she the reason why they're up this high is actually because they're pretty strong for for a girl that size they're pretty strong not only did the womb ripper i forgot her name sarah i think not only did she survive the fire that in the laundromat or whatever she was able to survive that even though she came out pretty messed up in her body or whatever she she still survived it you know and also at the end of the game she was able to not only tank bullets at the end you took like three or four bullets like real gunshots a human being taking real four three to four gunshots she was being examined at the end of the game you know she was getting you know looked at by um yeah she was getting looked at the doctors you know they were cutting her open whatnot but she was able to come back again and then kill the doctors or whatever and survive and no one knows what happened after the game so she has insanely good she had really good regenerative abilities so i'll give her that you know she's also pretty fast she's quick on her feet so yeah you know just the overall story alludes you know just to her being a strong person you know she has a motive behind her killings it's not like some of the, the killers before and some of the kills we'll talk about afterwards where they're they're kind of they, they don't know why they're doing it like they're just being told to or like they're just insane at least the womb ripper they are aware of what they're doing they know what they're doing they're planning stuff out like they're just they're just aware of how to do stuff they, they, like the womb ripper was definitely taking on every single one of the people before them so that's why they're here okay so next up we have another ripper this is gonna be the easter ripper again this is a game i played a long time ago if you look at my channel like there's actually a little i, I recorded the end of the gameplay that's when i was first like i like first was getting into puppet combo or whatever making videos on it so i probably won't have a video out for that game because it's just not it won't be authentic because i already played it i'm not gonna fake some reactions just for views or whatever easter ripper is almost very similar to the womb ripper in the fact that they're regular human beings but for some reason they just went down a path of just like wanting to kill people but they're still regular human beings there's nothing paranormal normal or you know out of the ordinary extraterrestrial with them they're just regular ass people the reason why the east ripper is above the womb ripper is because you know the east ripper if you know the gameplay spoiler alert it's tom it's tom he's he's one of the the casting he's one of the cam i think he's a cameraman or something like that so he's just a regular person again a regular ass person except he's a grown man he's pretty tall definitely taller and bigger and, and more built than the womb ripper let's be real just from the game alone bro like are you seen him pick up a whole a whole ass human being that big ass guy with the big ass tummy he picked him up with one hand and he slashed him with the other Tell me, tell me if you can, you cannot pick up a human with one hand 
and then slash them with the other. Like, that's just mad hard. You know how much strength you need to have to pick up a human with one hand, bro? Like, several feet off the ground, just pick them up by one hand. And then just, you know, that, that, that's a pretty strong guy. Let's uh, let's be real here. Another reason why he's, he's up this high is because he can also take a few bullets, bro. Throughout the game, you can, like, pick off at him and, like, hit him. And he'll run away or whatever. But especially towards the end of the game when you get the shotgun and he's still eating bullets. The man is still tanking the bullets when you, you have a whole ass shotgun, a whole shotgun, bro. Tell me one person that's tanking three bullets from a shotgun. It's not even like bullets. It's like shells. It's like whole ass pellets hitting him. And he's still tanking that shit. He didn't even die. You didn't even kill him at the end, bro. At the end, the, the, the motherfuckers had to come up from the ground and take him like it's fucking fine. That's a Freddy's like he's William Afton. Like that's that's the type of shit that needs to kill him. No bullets, no human. No, no, no one can do that. Bro needed paranormal shit to come and kill him, bro. And he's just a regular person. He's just regular old Tom damn bro so yeah he's just a regular human being with heightened strength and, and like defense or whatever so yeah he's, he's definitely we're definitely getting to the pretty strong list you know all right so next we actually have a fan favorite it's gonna be larry so why did i choose larry over the easter ripper all right there are many reasons okay so larry from the very fucking beginning when the man was this tall when the man was this tall he was still taking on entire schools of people slicing them up with just a knife bro he's insane he's literally insane there's no question about it larry if there's any puppet combo killer that you can be like oh that guy's insane it's literally larry it's literally larry from the second the man was born the first thing in his head is how do i kill people where can i kill people yeah so yeah he's just a full-blown psychopath there's no if and or buts he's literally just a full-blown psychopath he is so fast bro he is insanely fast he's able to catch up to any human being regardless of how tall or tiny they are and he could just slice them up he chases everybody down the man is relentless bro the reason why he's up this high too is because he seemed to have murdered the most people out of anyone else in the puppet combo like killer universe he has killed countless i mean countless of people he's killed he's, like no one can argue about that larry has literally killed the most people out of any other killer any other killer i will literally go outside and eat dog shit if i'm wrong about that so yeah larry is purely insane so yeah that man is absolutely bonkers no question bro literally gets enjoyment out of killing people that is a top tier psychopath killer and he's good at it too there's two separate games maybe even three i don't know there's two separate games where you play a whole ass game of him just going to different locations and killing people tell me another tell me another killer that does that or that has a game like that there's none it's just larry he's insane and he got the talking tree and the dog at the end of the other game talking to him he's insane bro oh yeah i forgot to add the man has no problem killing kids and and, and going to churches and schools and whatever boarding schools and killing everybody there the nuns the kids the everything bro another thing too i forgot to add the man has a fucking flamethrower a flamethrower bro you thought the knife was bad alone where he could just ding 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 just fucking hit everybody one by one with unlimited knives bro you thought that was op now the man has a fucking flamethrower too all righty so wait hold up edit fire here and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i forgot to add the booty creek cheek freak killer on the list i know how could i so if it wasn't obvious i'm gonna place this killer right after larry so you're probably wondering why i placed him here and here are three reasons number one the booty creek cheek freak doesn't appear to be a regular human and resembles more of a monster especially given its folklore like nature in the context of the game number two the booty creek cheek freak has the ability to shapeshift into a car although not very fast in the game this ability is very unhuman like and is clearly a sign of a higher being and finally number three i don't think there's anything more scary than a dude who is relentless for cheeks this creature's entire existence is preying on some fine cheeks and if that doesn't scare you i don't know what will okay that's all back to the video okay so next on the list we actually have another person or whatever from day seven you know the backroom game and that's actually going to be the tall man that we only get to see like one or two times throughout the game i know you guys are wondering like blind we don't know that much about that killer how can you tell if he's that strong bro he's in the back rooms anything any creature or anything in the back rooms is smoking you instantly bro i don't care what you say like you're you're right we don't know much about him but he resides in the back rooms that's all we need to know bro that's all we need to know anything that's in the back rooms instantly they're paranormal they're they're on some crazy shit bro they're on some like 
teleport, fucking manipulate the, the, the path. Of what, I don't even know what I'm saying, bro. That man is unnaturally tall. He is insanely fast. Okay, that man is like, what? Like nine feet tall? He's mad fast. He got hella long ass, sharp ass nails. That man could just think and your whole neck is gone, bro. He could just like, so yeah, like I said, you're right. We There's not much to go off of, but the fact alone that he just lives in the back rooms and is just posted up there and just like, God knows what he's doing, if he's real or not, but you just know that man is strong bro okay so next on the list we have the driller killer now this is the killer from power drill massacre and also the killer that gets you at the end of night watch so i mean there's no i mean come on guys it's the driller killer he's a classic puppet combo killer you cannot go wrong with him um the reason why he's up this high is because you know he appears to be like a kid trapped in the body of just like a grown man he never developed you know and he he, he stayed as a kid and you, you would think you know he stays as a kid oh he, he's weaker no him him in the mind being a kid is actually you know way more scary and way more threatening because the man has no chill no nothing the man will chase you down and, and hunt you and he doesn't think anything wrong of it he thinks it's just part of life so yeah he's even though he has the mind of a kid or a child he's a grown ass man he's tall as hell at least from what we see in the games he has a some he has somewhat he has the ability to somewhat you know plan and ambush certain attackers that we as we saw in the, at the end of night watch where what's his name jim was just running along and we saw the, the 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 driller killer just patiently waiting there, waiting for his time to come in and strike and then take Jim back to his whatever. You know, at least he has the mind to do that. He knows he can do that. He knows better not to just run out in the open and just get smoked or whatever. Not that he would, but you know, he he has some planning. The man could think at least, you know. So he he he's a little bit higher up on the list because he's you know whatever. So yeah, he plays the long game. He waits for the 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 victim to be alone and exposed until he strikes. You know, there's always a sign of a decently intelligent, at least intelligent in the mind of a, of a killer you know so so yeah also he uses a driller you know like a drill to to murder his victims that's pretty goddamn scary when he's chasing you all you hear is just that you know he's, he's digging inside you ah. so yeah from from what you've seen throughout the newspapers and you know whatever he has done this multiple times he's pretty well known in his area he he's taken multiple victims and as you see in power joe massacre you can actually see rooms where it's just dead bodies there's just blood everywhere because it's probably from his past victims he's done this multiple times and he's still alive so yeah and another thing too is that that man appears to function completely fine in the pitch black like whereas us the players and us as humans need a flashlight to traverse like sewers or just dark places in general the man just completely like just books it and just runs it doesn't need anything um i could be wrong i think maybe he might have some flashlights on his head or something i don't remember he probably doesn't though let's be real here it's a puppy combo killer the man just hears something and he just knows exactly where to go like the man just runs full sprint in complete dark he's not concerned about running or stubbing his toe or anything or running into anything the man just full-on books it to you and gets you bro and he's hella fast in the dark hmm so we're getting towards the end of the list now we got goddamn the night ripper next on the list we got the night ripper now the night ripper i to this day have no idea if he's like a duck or a duck man hybrid or just a man with a duck mask no idea the man just makes weird noises I, good for him i guess so yeah uh the reason why he's up this high is because again more than anyone the night ripper is legitimately an intentional murder he literally wants to be known as a murderer he's he's dubbed the night ripper he he knows it that's what he does he has the entire costume to fit it's literally what he does he's re he has wreaked havoc in that city of of night ripper for god knows how long you can just tell from the news from the news outlets from the radio stations like they just talk about him often and everyone's always just like you know to i forgot her name but you know oh be careful the night ripper's out like he's just known like he's literally a killer it's just like it's just like in our you know in our world like jeffrey dahmer or like the zodiac killer like they're known for being killers like they're intentional killers that go out and kill people so yeah you know he makes the news frequently he makes headlines frequently that's just what he does so yeah he's pretty fast for the most part um, probably not as fast as the other puppet combo killers, but definitely pretty fast. And he's able to track victims throughout the city, as you can see during the gameplay of Night Ripper. The man is able to track you in the regular streets, in the slums, in the sewers. Like, the man can chase you no matter where you are in the city. The man just knows where you are. So that's pretty goddamn scary. 
Yeah, another reason why he's up this high too is because he can cause anxiety and panic. When he's chasing, you get a little bar of anxiety. You start, your vision starts going weird, bro. Like you, you get some ringing in your ears, bro. He can cause some shit. I don't know if, whether that's paranormal or not. I doubt that it is, but either way, the fact that he can do that to his victims and just cause intense levels of paranoia and fear, it's crazy. It kind of reminds me of the nun who can kind of do the same thing with like her static or whatever. So I don't know whether that's an ability he has or whether that's just part of the gameplay mechanic you know you're just a you know you're a regular human being and just obviously you're gonna get scared when there's a motherfucker chasing you so so yeah overall he's pretty strong again i don't know why he makes those weird duck noises i don't know if that's part of his, his stick or whatever but i don't know all right so very next on the list we got dr edward sullivan now this comes from the game the glass staircase now i actually just recorded that game like yesterday or two days ago as of the time of me recording this i might not have it out before this video but i have played it i will have that video out um so yeah this guy i don't know much about him either i all i know is that in the story of the glass staircase he's that game is very resident evil like so think of him as like so yeah just think of him as like william birking from from resident evil if you guys know about that he's basically it's kind of the same concept just like a regular person and then he like injecting himself with something he became this ugly ass creature with like a i don't know i don't know i just think of think of it like that so yeah he's not really anything himself he's not really that threatening or scary himself it's when he turns into like whatever creature he is when you see him at the end of the glass staircase that's when he's pretty threatening um from the gameplay he's not only huge but he's equipped with one arm it's just a straight dagger he just has a freaking whatever he looks scary he's huge he's pink or, or red or whatever and the man could eat bullets like no other bro i know like i said before in the other in the other killers that they could eat bullets no but this man literally could eat he literally eats bullets he literally he catches the bullet midair and he eats it bro obviously i'm kidding about that but what i mean is that the man could tank a few like more bullets than any other killer uh my, my gameplay i remember just running in circles just shooting at him constantly and just like being like god damn when is he gonna die the man literally ate like 10 bullets or something I, I'm, I'm not even joking the man had the full-on plate open and just bullets lined up one by one he's cutting them open with the fork and knife and he's like you know okay so next we are down to our last two killers now you guys can probably expect who they are they're probably the most iconic puppet combo killers probably what what you first found you know the, the killers that you first thought of when you think of puppet combo so um you know it's gonna be a battle between these two but i already made a video about this which you know you can probably watch on there you already know who's coming i'm actually gonna put the nun uh from you know the second to, to most strong here now why did i put the nun here uh well let's be real the nun is taking all of us down regardless no matter where we are no matter who we are no matter how strong you are no matter how tall you are no matter how buff you are whatever she's gonna take you down no matter what as explained in that video where i talked about the nun versus butcher she is very much paranormal she is very much un, you know unnatural she is insanely fast she can maneuver the hallways of the of the of the church completely fine of the score or whatever completely fine in the pitch black she has no eyeballs yet she can track you down she's insanely fast she could teleport as we as we know so yeah and and she doesn't need any 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 weapon or anything she just comes at you by herself and she's enough to take you down with just her bare hands uh she's insanely scary she causes goddamn static in your face in your eyeballs goddamn static what the hell and so yeah just overall she's definitely you know she's not she doesn't have that many feats but she's definitely more paranormal and that alone just brings her way up than any other killers all the most you know some of you know at least half of the killers or maybe even less that i discuss in this video they're just regular human beings that could be taken down by a group of cops just like you know shooting at them or whatever but with the nun there's no taking her down bro you gotta do some like ritual shit to take her down bro as we've seen in in, in nun massacre so yeah she she doesn't go down easily and she doesn't go down naturally by bullets or whatever you need to do some crazy shit some crazy goddamn shit with the lord or whatever to take her down so yeah she's pretty strong all right so finally our number one strongest puppet combo killer is going to be the butcher i know i hope that doesn't come as a, as a surprise to most of you guys because the butcher is absolutely insane uh as again discussed in my other video i want to say he's a regular person and i think for the most part he is but there is 100 like he is like he is like almost like a vessel for for the gods that he worships like yeah he might look like a regular human being but the man is not like he is like almost the embodiment of like you know the cfv or whatever i don't know what the hell he is insanely tall 
insanely fast, uses multiple types of weapons, chainsaw, cleaver, knife, whatever. He has cameras set up around the house. He's intelligent enough to know where stuff is. He maneuvers around the house. And yeah, he's just insane, bro. He has killed many, many, many people in 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 his world or whatever he's able to lay down bear traps he's set up cameras and he's like he just monitors the whole entire house so at least he's like a little bit higher up than the nun like the nun just goes around chasing people if she sees you, she sees you whatever at least the butcher's intelligent enough to like you know monitor cameras and be like oh they're right there or like set up bear traps here and put stuff there like you know what i mean like he has a basic understanding of what to do as a killer and that on top of the fact that he's able to eat bullets he could regenerate he's just strong as hell bro like i honestly don't see any other killer facing you know the butcher like that like the butcher will always come out on top maybe the butcher versus the nun that's a pretty good goddamn fight right there i would have to admit i would like to watch that i would pay goddamn millions just to see that fight but okay so that's gonna be my list for puppet combo killers length from least to most strong i know there's a bunch of killers a bunch of people a bunch of characters that i that i haven't included maybe some from puppet combo games and maybe some from other games torture star or whatever but these are this, these are just the mainline people i think most people are would agree like are the main killers main think people people know of and again i want to make this very clear i just want to make it clear this is just my ranking my personal opinion my subjective ranking ranking my subjective ranking of where these killers lie between each other when it comes to least and most strongest please don't get mad at me if you think a killer stronger than the other maybe they very well could have maybe but i think my list is for the most part somewhat reasonable ranging from regular just human beings that want to kill to just straight up paranormal entities that just you know are worse you know worship gods and come whatever that's gonna be it for the, for this video hopefully you guys enjoy this shit i know i haven't made a video like this in a minute with the green screen or whatever but i want to make a lot more so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out gamers so you want to know who's the strongest puppet so you want to know who's the strongest puppet comp so you want to know who's the strongest puppet comp fuck bro